Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. All right, I know you guys are probably like, what's going on? So my hair is done. The blow drying phase, it's pretty much over. Um, basically what happened is that I did the three strand twist as you saw in the blow dried hair. Then I wore it out for the weekend. It was great, it was wonderful, everything was good. I rebraided my hair and then I went and took yoga yesterday, hot yoga, and I made sure my hair was like completely out of my face, whatever, it was all braided down, very small, like seemed like it would work perfectly. And then I got in the shower after the class and like ended up getting my hair wet. And it just as soon as I took out the braids, it was just a mess. So like all under here is like half reverted, half not. Um, it, it's just an overall mess, so I think we're done. Like, there's nothing I can do. I don't want to re-blow dry it because that would be adding extra heat to my hair. I don't want to do it. It's just over with. So, again, my hair blown out with my active lifestyle just doesn't last past a week, a week and a half. So we are going to revert back into the curly world. Um, I honestly had so much fun testing out different styles for once. You guys probably see I always wear my hair kind of the exact same way. Um, but this one allowed me to do so much. I kind of like the vibe of like my hair blown out but then I curl it which seems redundant but I just can handle my hair more. I'm gonna wash it today. I'm going to deep condition and probably actually step out the shower shocker and deep condition my hair for like a good 20 minutes just to like get her back to her right state and then I'm gonna do the three strand twist on my curly hair and see the differences as I say in all my other videos I know you guys are probably like will you ever have other products and I will once I go through all these Jane Carter solution products um, but since I still got a good amount of these products left I'm gonna keep using them because that's how minimalists roll I'll be using these products to do my three strand twist so I'll have the leave-in revitalizing leave-in conditioner that as you see this is I've been using that for a while I'm gonna go in with the incredible curls cream and then I'm gonna try the wrap and roll as like my my hole to the styling mousse so I'll try that instead it should work as you guys saw in the last video or you should check you should check it out right now when I did my three strand twist on the uh, straight hair I'll wait okay so <laughs> when I used it I ended up starting to revert my hair but now my hair will actually be curly so I'm gonna use it with this and that should be fine so that's it I'm gonna go wash my hair right now I'm not gonna film it filming wash days and my setup is just a hot mess there's water everywhere so I'm gonna come back with my hair after the deep condition all that good stuff and then we're gonna start testing it out and I won't bore you guys by showing you the entire process but I'll show you a couple of clips and we will see how the definition looks in comparison to when I had it straight so Stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, just do that right now. Join the family. I'll probably have some more hair care, skin care, all that good stuff. Keeping it minimal as usual, budget lifestyle. Stay tuned. So if anyone wants to tell me how I should properly, oh, I have a towel on. If anyone wants to tell me how I should properly tie the bag around my head, because it's just pretty much dripping down my back, that would be great. Um, I couldn't find a shower cap. I need to make it the, this look like this so it looks like I have clothes on. Um, I couldn't I couldn't find a shower cap that I had a spare of so I put a plastic bag on my head like I've seen in many a video and shocker I think I put it on backwards or whatever but it's just pretty much dripping down my back. Um, so obviously I did it wrong. Are we surprised? We shouldn't be. Alright fresh out the shower. I just have to point out, do y'all, do you guys have any suggestions for clips if you have thick hair because I'm down to three now. Another one just broke. <laughs> it's a running theme of mine. I thought the plastic ones would be good but it just seems like they just snap on command. So if you have any suggestions down below, do I need metal clamps? I don't really want to spend a lot of money. But anyway, here's my hair. I mean, look at all these lengths. You know what I realized? I need a shape. So maybe by the end of the summer I'll have some money saved up and I will go to a salon and get a trim because I feel like I don't have a shape right now and I'll insert a photo from a couple years ago of when I did have a shape and it was actually really cute now I don't necessarily want my hair that short but I want a shape to my hair right now but this is it I'll zoom in so that you can see better but she's nice and plumpy and clumped thanks to Camille Rose that deep conditioner from Camille Rose is perfection I love it I highly recommend it so hopefully yeah there we go you can see so I've got some clumping going on. Okay, so that is where my hair is at. So I'm gonna go through 
go around and part everything. I'm gonna go in with my leave-in conditioner and my Incredible Curls Cream. I don't have to say it, but you know what I'll be adding at the end? My black seed oil, of course. So I'll be adding that at the very end though um, to my scalp. So we're nice and detangled. About this much. All right, so now let's go in with this famous wrap and roll that gets kind of really messy, I remember, but it does breed good results. So I'm gonna take this much foam and apply it. All right, and now we're gonna do the three strand twist and it should be smooth sailing. And I promise it actually is pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of getting into the rhythm so I got my three equal parts and I'm gonna braiding first a little bit and now I'm gonna switch oh. <laughs> the first one's always tricky I'm gonna switch into my little system there we go So like I was saying before in my last video, working with your fingertips makes it much easier than before when I was pulling, putting all the hair like in the palm of my hand. It just wasn't a streamlined process, but here is my work. I don't think you can really see it. And the wrap and roll cream does get kind of foamy, but it will all disappear and I won't have a white cast, even though you see a lot of the product right then and there. I'm gonna just speed through and I will show you guys you know throughout the way because it's the same thing if you want to watch more of my last video you can to see exactly what I was doing or how I was figuring it out or how I came across this method but it's pretty much the same and I actually like it and so like I was saying when I get down to the bottom probably in a little bit I'm gonna switch to just a regular two strand twist and that is it and it really is not that hard. There we go. So that is one. And we're going to keep on going. Now what I'm gonna do is, and it's also, I don't know if you guys have ever happened to you before, but I've come across somewhere where after I do it, I find like a chunky twist. And so I'll just like redo that because to me it usually means that I just didn't twist tight enough. I'm just gonna go around with some black seed oil and put that all on my scalp. And then I'm going to, as I can already see, my hair is starting to shrink up a bit. So I'm going to twist those back um, like I had mentioned in many of my other videos, whenever I do twist outs, the way in which I elongate them is to twist my hair down, twist the twist basically. So I'm going to do that. It is funny getting used to a different side part. So I normally have my part on the other side, but I'm trying to grow that hair back. So I'm doing this side. So it's like this whole getting in my face thing like throws me off. So I just grab the twists and I twist them down to the back. I'm going to wear this fully in twists just tomorrow. And when I get to Thursday, I'll take them out probably Wednesday night. Oh, actually, no, sorry, Thursday morning. I'll probably take them out. Today is Tuesday. Normally, I like to just leave them in twists as much as I can. So, you know, less manipulation. Also what I do here is that I tie my hair tie uh, all the way down my hair like that so that as you can see here or here it is stretched down. So I'll do that on the other side. I'm just going to twist down and then I just add a hair tie and then I just twist it all the way down. The twist ends up just being like this and for overnight I will probably pin them up 
wear my scarf and I'll be good to go. So I'll check in with you guys whenever I end up taking this out. What I love about the three strand twist is the definition. So I'll try to get a close up for you, but it's just so much more defined than say my two strand twist. So I'm actually gonna continue to keep doing this uh, more frequently as opposed to using my two strand twist. And so after this, I was actually heading to set to shoot something. So I only did light um, unraveling. I didn't do that much volume so that when I got to set, they were able to do what they wanted. And you will see at the end of the video how this look ended up turning out. I also decided to trim those straggly ends because they were just looking a mess. Comment down below if you've tried the three strand twist, what you think of it. And here is what my final look ended up being on set. They unraveled it much more and gave it a lot of volume. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.